All right, our kids are home because schools are closed. They're taking virtual classes. A lot of moms and dads have to work from home because of COVID-19. And that can cause tension to rise. So how do we keep that from happening? Dr. Tracy Alloway, a psychologist with UNF, joins us here in the morning show. So our new normal for the time being is we have to navigate shared space with our kids. Where do we start? Uh, the first thing, Bruce, is to keep a schedule, and I think that's really important. We have to make sure that we, you know, we start school at a certain time, we take breaks at a certain time, we have lunch at a certain time. I know the schools are doing a great job providing that schedule for the kids, and if we're at home working with our kids, it would be a great idea to maintain that too. And keeping those routines really have a lot of benefits. First of all, it keeps that system, uh, systematicity for our children, and it also lets them adjust a lot better as well. You know, there might be a subconscious pattern at play here. What we learned from our parents in our childhood, does it play a role? Oh, that's a great point, uh, Bruce. There was a, a research done with over 150 adults, and they found that our ways of working at home, our work-life balance specifically, is really something that we pick up from our childhood. And they were able to link the patterns we see from our household when we were young to the patterns we are now recreating as adults. And that's really something that, as adults, we need to be aware of. How are you, how are you interacting with your children? How are you interacting with your partner when you're in the same living space? All of this could be drawing from what you've learned when you were a child, and you may not even realize this. All right, that said, this is a different day and a different time, and our kids are different than we were, so how do we adapt? Um, again, we really want to make sure that we are flexible, but we also maintain a schedule, and that's really important. So that could mean actually getting dressed in the morning, not just working and you know in your pajamas. It's really that mindset as well. So create that. Um, First of all, that mindset, I'm in my, my work clothes, my day clothes, we're ready to start the day. Same for the children too, they're ready to be at school. A lot of schools are asking them to check in either online or through Zoom, just like an attendance that they would at school. The second is create a workspace in your home. So don't just make it so fluid that one day you're working here, another day you're working in a different location. Again, our brain encodes where we are in that location with the activity that we need to do. So we really wanna make that match clear in our brain that this is my desk at my desk this is where I'm working and that really makes this transition a lot smoother as well so you're talking about establishing a, a comfort zone of sorts exactly a work zone in your home so let's talk about boundaries the rules are different now the space is different there, there is not <laughs> yes that's true um, and that can be tricky I know that some people are reporting they're trying to do a conference call and you've got the kids in the background and some arguments in the background and so on or even some laughter in the background and all of this I think we're all being more flexible I know that the you know even when I'm taking calls too this is just something first of all it's part of a course so the first is don't put this guilt on yourself that it has to be the way it was when you were actually in the office space so taking away that expectation that we used to have can make the first big difference difference to kind of helping us work through this difference in situation. Second of all, just take breaks. I've seen some great videos of families, you know, setting up little mini obstacle courses with glasses and they're doing a little, you know, 10 second run, seeing who, who can do the fastest, kind of zigzagging. So again, be flexible if you feel that your children or even you need that mental break. If you, in the workplace, you get up, you walk to the water cooler, you grab a coffee, allow yourself those kinds of breaks at home as well and, and, in, and incorporate your children in that as well. Now you talked about the importance of routine. Should we also experiment and try some new things? That, this is a great time to be creative. This is a great time to pick up that new skill. Maybe even in your work environment, you were trying to you know, approach a problem from a different angle. This is a great time to do that. Um, I'm currently writing some research looking at creativity in our brain. And one of the things that we know is when our brain is in, in what we call default mode, so we're not fully engaged, we're kind of working at the subconscious level, that's when our creativity arises. So this could be a great time to experiment with new ideas, new approaches in the workplace place and even at home with your family. You know, I'm a dad. Look, we tend to beat ourselves up when we struggle to cope. So how do you find that work-family balance when, when the line is now blurred? And again, it would be just making sure that everyone is happy. So if we switch up priorities, instead of making sure that we get 10 tasks done in the day, we can say, can we end the day where we feel you know, accomplished, but also happy together? And that would be a good guiding principle, that when you're working with your children, when you're kind of you know, in that same space, you're making sure that your mental health, that your ways in which you're interacting are positive. And use that as your focus, rather than, I've got to get this task done. Because if a, fo a focus is on the task 
task, then we tend to feel a lot more stress and a lot more guilt as a result. Dr. Tracy Holloway. Hopefully, we've helped some people out there who are dealing with their new reality. Appreciate you. Thank you. And by the way, if you want to share this interview with some other people later this afternoon, it'll be posted on newsforjax.com.